up YouTube. So this will probably um, I'm here in Silicon Valley and um, I totally manifested this you guys I've been meeting with some um, on the last live video I asked um, what I wanted to talk about and somebody said um, law of attraction so I'm not like a guru or anything like that but I'll kind of give you um, like what I've learned hey there's one person in here Hi, one person if you hear me you should put a thumbs up so that I know that this is working because I had my Bluetooth headphones on and I just turned them off so I don't know if the mic is working do you hear me two people hey we're cooking now so what I was talking about if you guys could put a thumbs up or something so that I know you can hear me that would be awesome um because I was messing with uh, my headphones and my mic okay you so you can hear me James, interesting spelling. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right, but um, thank you for that. So I'm gonna assume that means, yeah, you can hear me. Okay, so as I was saying, oh, there's some construction going on behind me, so pardon all the noise. Um, but I'm out here in Silicon Valley doing my thug fizzle. <laughs> um, as you guys know, if you've been following my latest spiritual videos, I quit my engineering job started my own company said fuck corporate america because it really sucks i hated being in a cube i couldn't take it um and so i've just been grinding out like all day every day on my company and um anyway so we're out here got you thank you so much and so um the the last live video that i did somebody said that they wanted me to talk about um law of attraction and so if you're here um, for like music stuff, you know, I haven't really messed with music that much. Sometimes I do for fun, but I'm really um, into this company that I started right now, which is in the realm of aerospace engineering. That's kind of where my passion is right now. Not kind of, it very much is where my passion is. I still like to rap, but um, it's just, I don't really have time for it. It's more for fun. So anyway, um, so as far as law of attraction goes, I started meditating big time because I just was so unhappy with my job and I did all the stuff that I thought I was supposed to do in society. And um, it just, uh, it, it, I wasn't happy. I was so unfulfilled. And so um, I, I was like, all right, I got to figure out what am I doing wrong? Why am I so unhappy? And so I literally started Googling how to be happy. And thank you. I'm a fan of you as well. You, you're my only watcher right now. You, I have one viewer and it's you. So it's okay. I just, I really don't want to, um, like make videos and edit them it takes too long so when i feel like talking i'm just gonna do a live video and it is what it is um but anyway so kind of what got me here because i literally i live in wichita but i manifested this and you gotta see where i'm chilling at like yeah it's it's very nice um there's a pool and a hot tub down the way and i'm so excited to be here i'm actually about to go to nasa um, here in about an hour and so um, so anyway um, I started meditating and I started learning about the law of attraction I had heard of it before I started reading think and grow rich which I had read before but um, I kind of knew the principles but I didn't all the way and the way that um, the thing that worked for me was um, basically picturing the things that I wanted to do and you know meditating on it and feeling it but then really probably the biggest thing that manifested this was man that's really loud i don't they're like building like a whole apartment complex right behind me sorry about the noise um but it's just so nice outside anyway so um so the thing that really um got me to silicon valley was that I was meditating on it, but then not just meditating on it and feeling it was a, a big part of it was like, okay, what do I, what can I do? You don't have to know everything to get you here. I had no idea how I was going to get here. And I didn't pay for this trip either. <laughs> I'm not paying for any of this. It's actually, it, I literally manifested it. It's crazy. Um, but um, instead of just like meditating on it, you have to actually do like what Ralph Smart will say, like take radical action. And I had to really step out of my comfort zone. He said, I'm happy for you and your work and your transition and growth. 
I'm in that. Damn it, it disappeared. I didn't get to read it all. <laughs> um, it is crazy. I mean, it's so powerful. And thank you for saying that. Um, I really feel like I've stumbled onto some really powerful stuff here. And it's not a, it's not a party every day. And it's not, um, hey, cool. Nice. I love Ralph. He's amazing. That he, He's the one that gave me the nerve to quit my job. I used to be at my job in my cube. And I would just be listening to him all day in my headphones. And he had one video that was like, hey, hey, boss, I want to go. I can't remember where he said he wanted to go, but um, he was just kidding. But he was like, hey, boss, I want to travel to blah, blah, blah. And his boss was like, no. And he goes, well, fuck it. Then I quit. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, fuck it. I quit. I don't like this. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, so there's definitely been some scary days where I kind of start to panic and like, oh, my God, what am I going to do if this doesn't work out? And when I start to feel like that, um, I just got to retrain my brain like I have everything I need. I'm OK right now. Everything is all my bills are paid. I'm OK. I got this. And as long as I have that attitude, um, it's so crazy because sometimes I'll have no idea how I'm going to make it. But as long as I just tell myself everything is OK and everything is fine that sort of like makes people want to work with you and it attracts really successful people that are like kind of in that same mode that you are and really that's all that um i've been doing is just networking and being really positive and it has attracted so many and i haven't even asked anybody to help me i haven't asked anybody for partnerships i haven't asked any it's like people have been coming to me and offering to do the very thing that i need it is so crazy and i mean it really just, and then another thing that I do that really helps is every night doing like um, sleep hypnosis while I'm sleeping. And there's like Doxy Meditations. I really like his. It's D A U C H S Y. You play those when you go to sleep. Um, there's another one that I really like. It's um, Michael Stevenson, I think. He has some really good ones too. There's a few that I listen to um, for going to sleep. So I'll do like. A meditation before bed a sleep hypnosis and then a meditation when i wake up and then i try to go on a walk outside and do a meditation in the sun which those are really powerful just looking at nature um and all that good stuff um and it it just takes um it's it really just kind of takes like brainwashing unbrainwashing yourself and it's work every single day it's like um i don't know if you've ever been like on a diet where you know you eat healthy for a couple days and you're like i don't see any results so you want to go back to your old eating habits or like if you're working out you work out for two days and you don't see any results so you want to quit working out well like meditation and spirituality is the same thing it's a process it's never ending you're not ever done so i'll always um some i've done this a couple times where i'll kind of think like okay i'm in the zone and i won't meditate for a couple days and i'll feel myself start slipping right back into negative thoughts and so it's just really important to stay on it um sometimes i'll be like jogging and when i'm jogging i will just like with my foot's like the rhythm i'm like i'm evolving i am a leader i make good decisions i'm getting better i'm getting smarter i make good choices and i just repeat that over and over i am unstoppable i am evolving i'm a good leader i make good decisions i am unstoppable i am evolving i make good decisions i'm a good leader while i'm jogging i'm saying this over and over and it really works and it's crazy how far you can jog when you just keep saying that. And that's how you retrain your subconscious mind. Um, and really, I just do that. Like anytime I get my nerves, like, oh, like I have kind of a little panic attack about something. I just say, I got this. I'm unstoppable. I'm a good leader. I make good, I I make good choices. Oh, how am I doing on drinking? That's a good question. I've been fully without it since August 5th. Good for you. I have good days and bad days. I went six weeks with no drinking and yeah the i am statements work um i have an i am card that's i am so happy and grateful now that um i make i take such good care of my body my diet has been on point my i haven't smoked cigarettes in months um which that was something i've struggled with off and on but i haven't done that in months um my fitness has been on point drinking i went six weeks without drinking but I've been drinking like a little bit like every day, like two or three beers a night or like a couple glasses of wine. Um, it's really hard because a lot of this traveling, I know it's really hard to not drink because a lot of the traveling um, networking events, they have like happy hour and it's like, 
you know it, it's not like i was before where i was like numbing myself it's more been like networking so i haven't been too much in my head about it um it is something that i'm trying not to really do too much i don't want to i don't want to try to be perfect because that can be overwhelming and then i've tried to do that before where i try to fix everything and then i end up like kind of like backsliding on all of it and um, but i've definitely cut down the cigarettes are gone meat's gone gluten's gone I'm vegan um, in fact I'll take you inside and I'll show you what I made for breakfast so I've been on it hey want to have a tour of this apartment I'm at let's do a tour all right so here's the living room I like this map it's like looks like it's lit up but I think it's just because there's a light there so all right breakfast and i'll munch on this like all day but um okay so we had i made gluten-free tortillas grapes uh, i did some tofu with um red and yellow bell peppers onions and then grapes and so i put that on the gluten-free tortillas it's bomb as hell i've been eating on that all day um let's see i went grocery shopping when i got here and so we have, let's see, some soy milk for the coffee, some salsa. Um, there's my tortillas down there. Yes, there is some beer. <laughs> um, and there's some carrots in there. We got the tortilla chip. Um, okay, let's do a tour of this apartment. Let me see if, I don't know if I can flip this on live. Okay, sweet. All right, so this is the door you come in here. Wanna see the hallway? It looks kind of like a dorm. That's the hallway. And so you come in and here's the kitchen. Doo, doo, doo. It's a cute apartment. And that's somebody else's room. So we're not gonna go in there, but hey, I love this humongous mirror. It's so big. There's their bathroom. We got a washer and dryer. And t -t 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 I don't know what that was on the TV. I don't turn on the TV. That was them. So this is my room. It's where I did my makeup this morning. My little mirror. This is my view. There's like a patio. That's where I was just sitting a second ago. Um, so here's my room. It's super cute. And my closet, which doesn't have that much in it, except my clothes. Um, my bathroom, which is probably a pit. Don't judge. <laughs> so yeah um that's not bad right <laughs> not too shabby so it actually looks a lot like um my apartment in wichita but i just i really like this that we sort of have like our own um patio and thank you yeah and look our own grill if i was a meat eater i would be all about this grill but um i haven't really messed with it but um, this is the construction that we've been hearing. Beautiful mountains. I think I'm gonna go on a hike. So there's part of Silicon Valley down there. I'm getting ready to head over there. NASA's like that way. That's where we're getting ready to go. It's so nice here. Literally, like I have this sweater on. I'm trying to switch this. I have this sweater on. I'm standing on a bench and I'm actually getting hot. I think I'm probably gonna change. Um, it's beautiful. It's like, it's for sure in the seventies. Um, so yeah, um, law of attraction, manifestation time. And again, like I said, I didn't pay one cent for this, not my travel, not my room and board. It's because I've been networking. I've been doing hard work. I've been working really good, doing research, finding the right people to talk to. And really another thing, haha, <laughs> one of these days, more music will come. One of these days, I just, that's for later. I definitely still have it in me, but um, I'm kind of enjoying doing this right now. I'm really passionate about renewable energy and technology and helping solve some of these big problems. I got an engineering degree. I figure I might as well use it for something good. And so that's like another thing that comes with law of attraction. Well, I actually learned this from Think and Grow Rich. Um, he says your rewards somewhere in there, it says your rewards in life will always always be directly proportional to your contributions and like music it was entertaining but like was i really solving any problems maybe i was helping somebody you know get through a rough day but it wasn't like i feel like i had more to offer the world and so um 
with getting that degree and just really learning like some of the issues that are wrong with the world, I'm like, I know how to fix some of this stuff. So I just really wanted to um, pursue that and just kind of um, looking at things that are solvable that we can do to help the world, help climate change, help reduce traffic, congestion, um, improve air quality, stop burning so many fossil fuels. Those are things that um, I can contribute to that I think are uh, really valuable. So that's really why I haven't been doing music. It's like, it's just not um, as important to me right now versus, you know, like making sure that we have a beautiful planet for our ancestors and our offspring down the line and making sure that we have a planet um, to take it even further. So um, since I've been like really advocating for that and networking and talking to people, um, I've been attracting the right kind of people that are like really wanting to work with us. And um, so it's just super exciting. Um, anyway, I don't know where my colleague is. Oh, actually, the, here he comes right now. Okay, so we're getting ready to head out to NASA. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Bye. Love you. How do I end? I always forget how to end these.